It's Monday and it's time for another motivational tip. Hi, I'm Barbara and today I'm going to be talking to you about fall vegetables. So I'm filming this in the middle of fall and it's harvest time and the earth is just bursting with all different kinds of vegetables that are only available this time of the year. And I'm going to encourage you to take advantage of them because they're incredibly useful to your health and well-being and for your mood. So what I have before me is several different kinds of pumpkin. I have a butternut squash and I have a yam. And all of these have several things in common. The very first thing that they have in common is if I, if I were to cut them open, the inside of these vegetables are either orange or red in color. The deeper the color, the more antioxidants they contain, the more carotenoids they contain. This is important because antioxidants boost immune function. And as we head into the colder months, this can help offset colds and flus that might be coming down the pike. So eating foods like this on a regular basis increases your antioxidants and helps you boost immune function so that you don't get sick as often and that's incredibly useful. The second thing that they share in common is that they're a great source of minerals. In particular, they have a lot of magnesium and magnesium is great for stabilizing adrenal function. So your adrenal glands control several functions in your body from your metabolism to your sleep-wake cycle to inflammatory responses and hormone balance. They're super important and they're easily depleted. Magnesium helps to support them and nourish them in a healthy way to help create more balance in your body. So that's another thing that they, that they do. A third thing that they have in common is that they all have a lot of fiber for relatively little amounts of calories. So a serving of yams, for example, is about 130 calories loaded high in fiber so that you feel full pretty quickly on relatively few calories. So having this, let's say some chicken and some green vegetables might be a perfect complement so that you keep yourself from overeating something else either at that meal or later in the day. One way that I use root vegetables and pumpkin and vegetables that grow low to the ground is for a sense of grounding. So when people crave sugar, and many people do, it's often in response to stress and anxiety. The sugar is one way, because what they feel when they're feeling stressed and anxious is like this, this connection, like an like an untethered feeling to themselves and to like everything around them. So they crave sugar and they eat sugar as a way to create a sense of grounding, to feel a little bit calmer in that moment. Rather than eating sugar, which is very destabilizing to your brain chemistry and very destabilizing for your serotonin levels, I encourage people who crave sugar to eat root vegetables and things like pumpkin, things that grow close to the ground instead. The reason for that is if you're looking for something to ground you, there's nothing better than something that grows in the ground. Energetically, it has all those properties. It helps you feel connected. So having something like a yam would be incredibly useful. The pumpkin, like I said, grows close to the ground, also offers that same property. So it gives you that sense of grounding that you might be looking for. But additionally, all of these vegetables are slightly sweet. They have a slight sweet property to them. So including them, like let's say every day at one meal or like three or four times a week, might offset your cravings for sugar at, an, at that day or another day in that week. So if you know that you crave sugar and you know it's because of stress and anxiety, including one of these into your diet on a regular basis would be incredibly useful. So how would you use these? How can you get them into your diet? Well, one really easy way and useful way is through soups. I make all different kinds of soups in the winter and I use complementary flavors, complementary spices with the pumpkin. So one example might be like a Thai curry spice, which is delicious. Another example is using cinnamon or nutmeg, things like that that are, that are typically associated with pumpkin. And these are very nourishing. You get a lot of nutrition in a small bowl. They're warming, so they're great for a cold winter night. That would be perfect. Another thing you can do is just cut them up, toss them with olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then just bake them or roast them and use it as a side dish at one of your meals. A third way is to just cut them in half, bake them, and then sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on the inside and enjoy it as a side dish. And then the last way is something you can do with the yam, which is super easy, you could probably even get your kids to eat it, is to cut this up into like french fry pieces, toss with olive oil, maybe some salt and pepper, some rosemary if you want an additional flavor on that, and then just bake it for a little while, about 10 minutes, and I'll include that recipe on this video so you can try it at home. So now that you know how useful it is to have these vegetables in your diet, I encourage you to go out and get some and start experimenting with them. Supermarkets are loaded with these vegetables. If you live in a farm community, then your farm stands are going to have them. Go out and start using them. They're here for you and for your well-being. The earth provides everything that you need. So if you like tips like this and you want more ins information or inspirational tips, do check out my blog at rootsandseeds.com. If you want to know more about me or my practice, you can look at my website at barbaramendeznutrition.com and absolutely give me your feedback. I love to hear your comments. Thanks so much and I'll see you next Monday.